How was day one in pads? Uh, it was good. The guys were flying around. Uh, some pads was clacking, and um, guys were competing. And some guys were on the ground. We didn't want them on the ground as much as they were yesterday, but sometimes that happens when you come out there and practice and you're going hard and you get competitive. And we got to continue to teach our guys to practice like pros and stay up when we're taught to, to stay up. And when it's live, then we, we go live. But other than that, I thought our guys did a great job, had a lot of energy and um, uh, did some good things on both sides of the ball. Are pads the first time you can really tell what's the running game? Um, I think you get a great idea uh, once you put the pads on. And I say pads, I mean, you show the pads and helmet, you tell a lot, you know. Um, but um, just with the running game, I was really impressed with, with our guys and, and what they've they've done so far this training camp. Um, and uh, we got to continue to get better at it. Kalen said he, had a, he thought he had a pretty good, pretty good afternoon. Did Kalen tell you that? Well, we kind of <laughs> let him into it. He didn't offer it. But uh, what did you see from him? Um, he had a really good day. You know, I know um, the day before um, we had a situation, a um, short yard situation where he didn't get the first down and kind of danced around. And uh, coaches and players got on him and just looked down. And Coach Pimp told him he's going to put him back in there and see if he'll respond. And I thought he did yesterday. He came out and had a really good practice, ran very physical. And um, he had my team period had a nice 70 some yard touchdown to, to start it off. And it was good to see. You said he appreciates being out here a little bit more, too, after everything that happened last year. I mean, do you see that from him, kind of a sense of gratitude? Uh, I saw it throughout spring, you know, just happy to be back and thinking about the game of football. He's talking about a young man that really loved the game of football and um, to have it taken away from you the year that he finally wanted to play, and um, it was hard on him. And I think he appreciated it and, and respect the game. And you could tell the way he's practicing. He's practicing hard and going to enjoy every minute that he's out here. And, and he's getting better. You know, um, he's still himself got to get back into football shape. It's, it's been a while since he's been hit and having to run like he does now. But um, I can tell you, after yesterday, I think his knee is pretty healthy. What are your impressions of uh, Ryan Roberts uh, after one week? Um, Ryan's a, a, an experienced young man. Uh, you can tell he's, he's got a lot of experience. He's, he's old. He's bringing a lot of maturity to our offensive line room, and um, he's he's been good. I think he's been really good at, at just bringing guys along and bringing guys together with this team, and been really impressed with a guy that just came in here to get around his teammate and and gain the respect from his teammate the way that he has. It's been good, and, and football wise, he's he's still learning the system and um, doing some. Doing some good things, you know. He's still not where he needs to be, but he's doing some good things for us. Being able to see them with pads now, uh, how do you feel about the tempo? Um, again, it's, it's getting better. We're getting one percent better every day. We, um, I told you the other day about getting the football condition, and I can see our guys getting there each and every day. Um, the more we go out here, and I think it's going to be even better um, with full pads and to get to run around and um, as much as we do, um, but. Understanding the tempo, especially offensively, um, I think our guys have a great understanding of that, and they're, they're doing a great job with it. And um, if we if we can continue to get better, I think um, August 31st, our guys will be ready to roll. Brady Scott's played most of the positions on the offensive line. Just what's it like having a guy with his versatility be able to do whatever he needs to do? Well, I think it, it, it's good. But I think for for Brady, it'll be good for him just to have one spot and continue to grow. Um, Brady's a young guy, played played last year. Um, probably, probably wasn't necessarily physically ready, and um, but I think it helped him with some experience. And, and it's good, I mean, to have an athletic guy that is at any position on the offensive line, you know. But I think for Brady to be able to uh, stay in one spot and continue to grow and develop in that position, he Brady can be an outstanding football player for us. How have you seen a guy that the conditioning program really seemed to pay off for him? He looks a lot, a lot bigger, a lot thicker. He is. He's, he's gotten bigger and stronger, and, and that's part of it in, in developing. Like I said, last year he was uh, probably necessarily wasn't ready physically, and, and he's worked really hard to get himself in, in physical condition and physical strength uh, to be able to go out and compete in the trenches, and um, it's paying off for him. Have you seen Alex and James kind of push each other in the quarterback competition so far? Well, they're just going out and trying to execute the offense. You know, um, both of them are are, are – have a good well I say James have a probably better understanding of the offense than than Alex but um Alex has done a good job coming in and 
and, and learning and, and executing the offense. And they both in there. We, we move the ball, and um, it's been good to see. Amari Gainers. Got time for two more. Amari Gainers received a whole lot of praise from Coach Snyder when he's been out there. Just what have you seen from him, especially now that the Pats are on? Maturity. He's getting older. He's kind of like Brady. You know, he's, he's gotten older, and he's gotten bigger and stronger. And usually for a young person, when you get bigger and stronger and have a better understanding, you have uh, I'm more confident in playing the game, and that's what you're seeing out of Mari now. He just have a, um, a lot of confidence in himself, and he's flying around, and he's making plays, and um, it's been good to see. I mean, just seeing him and, and Leonard at, at that star position has been really good this training camp. You've talked a lot about, I mean, the multiple defense, but when you're in that 3-4, when you've got those three defensive linemen next to each other, those are three I mean, pretty big boys. How impactful do they can be working alongside each other? Uh, it could be good. Um, I know... For the linebacker, it helps when you have some big guys in there who can plug those holes and allow the linebackers to run around, you know. And um, you look at a guy like like Marvin, not only is he big, he's, he's athletic. You know, I saw him make a play like 10 yards down the field and just running just the way he did was really impressive in practice and, uh, and make the tackle. But he, he's, he's a stud, you know, and can get him in there and sometimes isolate him on the guys uh, would be an advantage for us.